Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this session, we'll start with creating an LWC component. I hope that you have followed the previous sessions wherein we had set up the Visual Studio Code and we saw how we can create a project in VS Code and also how we can authorize an org, right? And fetch components from the org and also how we can deploy your changes from VS Code to the org, right? So we'll start with the LWC component. So first, I'll show you how you can create a LWC component and what are the files that it contains, okay? So if you have already created a project, right? In the folder hierarchy, you search for this folder LWC, okay? Once you get this folder, right click on this and you'll find this option, SFDC, SFDX, create lightning web component, right? So click on this. Now this will ask you what name you want to give to your lightning component bundle, right? So let's say I'm giving it a name as uh, data binding demo, okay? So data binding demo. Okay, and then I'll just click on enter. So once I click on enter, it is showing me the folder hierarchy where my component is going to get placed. And this one is right. So I'll just hit go ahead and click on enter. So if you see my LWC component got created, right? And if you look at this component, it contains three files, right? One is HTML file, the other one is JS file. And then we also have something called meta.xml file. Okay, so the, your HTML file is nothing but how, like, you know, it, it basically defines the view of the application. So whatever you're going to write in here, that will be displayed on the UI, right? And your JS file is nothing but your JavaScript controller file. So this one basically will include your business logic, right? And meta.xml file is basically a configuration file, which we'll talk about later. So don't worry about it for now. And so every LWC component will have all these three files, right? And there is one optional file that you can include that would be .css file, right? For styling, let's say if you want to style your component and you want to uh, keep your CSS code separately. So what you can do is you can create another file over here and give the extension as .css, right? But that is optional, okay? Every time you create a LWC component, these are the three files that you're going to get. Okay, so let's just go ahead and see uh, like, you know, um, Let's just, let's just start with an example, okay? So first of all, before I start, I want to give you guys an overview about the data binding in L LWC, okay? So basically, if I talk about the basic definition, like, like you know, what, what data binding is. So data binding is basically, you can say it is synchronization between the, between the data, uh, like, you know, that you have in your business logic and view of the application, right? So for example, for example, what I meant is that, whatever you have in here and whatever you have in your HTML file, the synchronization of data between your controller and HTML <clears throat> is called data binding, okay? So there are basically two types of data binding. Uh, first off, the first one is one-way data binding and then the second one is two-way data binding. So in this example, we are only going to see about one-way data binding, okay? So let's just go ahead and start with an example. So I will first move to the JS controller, okay? So if you see in your JS controller, you can see that the first line, right? In the first line, we are importing lightning element from the LWC module, okay? And after that, what we are doing is we are creating a class, okay? And whatever the logic that we have, we are going to include inside this class, okay? So let's just go ahead and within the class, we will define a property, uh, let's say, let's say full name and assign a value to it, okay? So I am just going to define a property as full name. And for now, I'll just give a, a random value to it. Okay, let's say um, uh, first, sorry. Let's say uh, first LWC component. Okay, and That's it, okay? So all I've done is I have only defined a property called full name and I have assigned a value to it, okay? Now what I want to do is I want to display this particular, uh, like, you know, value on my UI, right? And my UI is nothing but what, what will help you to display this value on the UI, your template file, right? That is your HTML file. So I'll go here and let me just go ahead and define another tag, okay? Um, Okay, and here I 
am going to include my uh, variable okay like the property that we have defined okay so my property is nothing but first name right so let me sorry full name let me copy it from here and let me just paste it here okay so what did i just do i have only defined a property in my js controller file okay and i'm trying to access this value in my html file and how am i accessing this value with the help of curly braces right so what happens that like you know when when this component will load it will basically initialize the variable full name with the value that we have given to it right and after that when html starts rendering in the browser the lwc engine will basically look for the curly braces tags and it will replace the full name inside the curly braces tags within the with the property defined inside the class right so this is how uh, this is how like you know uh, the data binding happens in lwc and it is one way data binding because what we are doing is that we are like you know trying to display a value from the class to the template right so let's just go ahead and deploy this to org i hope you have already authorized your um, vs code to your org so i am just going ahead and deploying this so once you have deployed your component right um, what you can okay so one we forgot to do one thing right so this configuration file correct so before we include uh, before we navigate to the salesforce org and like you know basically include this component on any of the uh, record pages let's say record pages or home page we first have to like you know expose this component and we also have to mention in the configuration file that where on what kind of pages we are going to use this component okay so the first thing that i'll be doing is i'm going to uh, make it true okay and now what i want to do is i would want to include this component on what is that okay i would want to include this component on a uh, record page right so i'll just go ahead and include targets there's something called targets okay so in targets you have to mention all the kind of like you know pages that you would be including this component on so here let us just include okay so here let's just only include record page okay save and then deploy okay so this is deployed now what we'll do is we'll go to the org and we'll include this component on one of the pages and we'll like you know we would try to see the desired result right we basically want to see the full name that we have assigned here right so let's just go ahead to the org and let me um, go to let's say contacts let me open one of the contacts and i'll go to the record page and i'll try to uh, include this component okay so edit page Let me just remove this. And okay, so now what we have to do is we have to drag our component into this page, and the name is data binding demo. Okay, so I'll search for that data binding demo. Here it is, right? If I would have not made changes to the configuration file, right, I would have not been able to see that component in the options to drag it. Okay, so here and I'll just place it here. Okay and save this is saved let's just go to the contact record page so here it is right this is the text that we had assigned the full name to right first lwc component so this is how one way data binding happens in lwc um, i hope you guys uh, at least got the idea how to get started with lwc component in our next session we'll talk about uh, data binding in detail we'll see examples few more examples on one way data binding and also examples on uh, two way data binding and how it can be uh, achieved in lwc okay uh, till then stay tuned bye bye